Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Sunday, the 22nd maybe. Um, I'm just um, sorting our room out um, while Mark goes to the tip and then I'm going to go next door and do some bits in the kids bedroom too. So basically what I've done is um, built these boxes and I'm putting shoes and bags in them at the minute so I'll show you. Okay, so at the minute we've got a box of shoes there and um, a box of bags. This takes over the whole, this one, the satchel. I really need to start using that. <laughs> I've used it for like a year and then I haven't used it since, but it's very nice, proper satchel from Zatchel. Um, yeah, so I'm just putting all my bags in here and all my shoes in there for now. Hi everyone. I am just having a coffee and something to eat and then I'm going to go back upstairs and tackle the rest of it. Um, I can't get to my hairdryer or anything so I'm looking a little bit of a mess. I had a shower but um, it's just dry naturally. It's a bit wet but um, I can't even find my clip to clip it up or anything. Um, yeah so I've just come down I've had um, something to eat and I'm just finishing this coffee and then I'm going to go upstairs. Mark needs to go to Sainsbury's to pick up our weekly shop. I was going to do a haul, but I don't think I've got enough energy or time to do it. So, yes, I'm going to go upstairs and show you what's going on up there. It's, it's a tip. Right. So, where we are with the kids' bedroom is... We've got this wardrobe here, which is going to go. Or it's going to go downstairs in um in the hallway i'm not sure though it's quite in good condition it's just too small and it's too big for this room now because of that big wardrobe so it's one of them where you're like i don't want to get rid of it it doesn't have its door on because it's easier to maneuver without its door um i think it's going to be up to oliver to decide whether he wants it beside his bed or not i think it might be a little bit too big for his bedroom but we're leaving it there for now because there's no room downstairs until our wardrobes um get put up because they're just like all over the hallway the, uh, oscar's bed looks like that currently and there's lots of pajamas on the floor here so i don't know i don't know i don't know what's happening i will um yeah i don't know what's happening That mound is nearly the same size as me. I mean, it is on a bed though. Now it is the same size as me. <laughs> oh, Mark is not pleased with me at all. Uh. Hashtag hoarder. So 
We managed to get one wardrobe upstairs with one door for now. Where's my manual? <laughs> oh, it's on the box in the kids' bedroom with all the screws and stuff. It's a very tall wardrobe, if you can see. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. You're sitting in the wardrobe. How are you supposed to do that? On the floor. It's supposed to come out the floor. It's all right. Your weight might crack it. That's what I'm trying to say. How are we getting on, Mark? Are we going? Are you going to the tip after you've built this one? Yeah, maybe. So Mark's finishing in there. I have to help him every so often, but I, this is what I've done in here. So, all the Toy Story toys are going up here. He's got his, like, Spider-Man. In these boxes, I think there's dress-up and um, Nerf gun bits in there, teddies that are important, uh, toys, I think, um, a variety of things. I can't remember what I put in them, but... Um, I have emptied two of those large boxes and we've got three tip slash charity run boxes. The thing about that wardrobe was in our old house, this, their bedroom was so small and it had to fit three beds in it because there was only one bedroom for the three of them. And this was bought because it is um, narrow and could fit in the only space available. Now it's fairly new, it, well it's a fair few years old, but it's, it's fairly new compared to the blue one that was mine as a kid. So that was a definite get rid of. This one is just happens to be too small for their clothes. And um, now we've got a bigger room for, you know, a bigger wardrobe. It's like sort of useless, but it's in good condition so i'm like i don't want to chuck it away so i don't know i might just move it up for now um and i may swap it over because this is quite uh it's taking i can't see into the room from the hallway and i don't like that so i might put that there and this there and then fill this with coats and warm jumpers and stuff so they're accessible or school clothes so then they're easy to just pick out. I don't know, but I think I might keep it. Hi everyone, we have something resembling a wardrobe. Exciting stuff. We just need to put the, obviously the doors on, the shelves and the hanger. So there we go. There's one. there we go we have a wardrobe we haven't fitted the um things yet you have to measure them properly and make sure that they're all right anyway um <clears throat> we'll do that another day i think anyway i've put some clothes in they're a mixture of mine and mark's 
we've put one shelf in here although the unit came for two shelves but we're going to put three in mark's cupboard because mark has more clothes that don't hang so we're going to um yeah put um doodah <laughs> three in his and just one in mine obviously it makes two shelves kind of the bottom and there and i think this needed to be moved up one but we will do that another day but on marks we're going to move the rail up one and then his clothes are obviously short so he doesn't have any dresses or anything like i do so he can have like a shorter hang and then shelf 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 that is a plan but there we are Hi hey everyone, we are, have finished this wardrobe except the door, uh, the door handles like I said. Um, we are moving all the stuff um, onto the bed so then we can build the other wardrobe because Mark was, didn't find it too challenging. challenging. It was actually alright. Some Sometimes flat pack can be really annoying and sometimes it can be... Okay, that was the bin, don't worry. It was empty. So yes, we're going to do that and then, um, yeah, it's not going to look pretty like by the end of the day, but it will certainly be functional, functional and um, it will give me chance to do over the week, uh, the week, sort all the clothes out. But basically, it's, but in our wardrobe and the kids' wardrobe, it has been a case of literally just shoving it in. Like, I've just shoved lots of things in. And there's loads of Mark's clothes and my clothes in there hung up. It was just whatever could be hung at the time of pulling it out of this pile. I've just shoved it in there. Okay, so that's the bed at the minute. There's a lot of piles of clothes at the end of the bed, but nothing on this end, really. So I'm planning to move all of this now over there so then a wardrobe can slide through here and into that corner so and this obviously needs to move here where i'm stood so that's the plan look at him doing random stuff what is he doing why is he wiggling it he's wiggling that what is he doing look at him studying what he's going to do with the garden <laughs> What he's doing. Look at him studying the garden because he's 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 definitely he's planned his weeks off. So he's got two weeks off in a week's time. And um he wants to mess around with the garden and we want to move that shed there to the bottom of the garden because I feel very overlooked down there. So if I'm sat on my chairs, my doodad has chairs, <coughs> my garden chairs. I feel overlooked by people, I don't like it. So we want to move that because it's actually um, making the kitchen darker by it being there. The shed. We want to move the shed. <laughs> that's what that's why he's like inspecting the garden. The front door is slightly open, you know. Yeah. Well it's tiny it's tiny. So Mark's going to a tip run and then we are going to build the second wardrobe. And I am going to take the hoover upstairs. I'm going to make sure their bedroom is completely done. Hiya. After, as this vlog's gone on, my hair has got more and more all over the place. But that's what happens when you're dealing with this amount of stuff to do in a very short period of time. So I'm starting to like go a bit, I just can't be messed anymore. I need to hoover the kids' bedroom. I'm trying to get the kids bedroom as normal as possible and um, clean it all up and tidy it I mean Oscar's bed is all done ready for him we need to put the door back on this thing so I'm gonna put the door back on there and um, I've just picked up all the rubbish and put the boxes this is like tip stuff and charity but I need to go through these boxes properly so um, I'm going to take that downstairs and then I'm going to go through 
I brought the ones that we're keeping definitely upstairs and um, I'm going to separate over the week tip stuff and charity stuff so I need to look at each each toy basically and see if it's okay to go to the tip that's it <laughs> that's it that's what I'm doing I'm going to make Alfie's bed and then I'm going to Hoover that's what I'm going to do so I finished the kids bedroom um just need to bring some toys back up from downstairs and put the door on this wardrobe but it's finished um I will show you doing down there in there slowly Maisie's like what is going on in this house why are you doing this all day why aren't you just sitting down relaxing <laughs> we've still got a mound on the bed that I cannot be asked doing marks within the cupboard putting shelves in he's having more shelves than me he's having three one, two, three. You'll have like four spaces basically to put his clothes because he's got a lot of trousers. And t shirts can be folded on the shelves too. So, and then these will be kept for jumpers and coats. So, the second wardrobe is up, but we haven't put the doors on because we just thought it's easier to organise without the doors, especially seeing as we're not going to put the handles on today. Um, we're going to do that at some point this week. Yes. Because it needs properly measuring and we're just too tired now to to concentrate. So, we haven't put the doors on this one because it's easier. It's really difficult to keep opening the door from the top. And it's very tall. <laughs> mm. You have to stretch every time I want to um, open. open it. So we decided to leave the doors off for now. Um, but we've filled it and we have our bed free now, thank God. And there's a variety of clothes in there. There's half my clothes, half Mark's in there. There's Mark's clothes. So this week, what I'm going to do is... Um... Yes, Maisie. She thinks I'm talking to her again. Uh, this week, I'm going to put them in order basically so a lot of the jumpers and hoodies are going in here with Mark's clothes shirts and stuff and then over in the other one is my dresses cardigans all that jazz so dresses and stuff oh, anyway so <laughs> bless her anyway yeah so she's not happy that we've been busy all day Hey everyone, so I'm downstairs cooking the tea now. I'm just like reheating the the gammon joint in the air fryer and with a little a few little chips, just the same as I had yesterday. Beans and uh, my ratatouille which is in the fridge because I just had half a tin yesterday. So luckily we had enough to eat it again. I generally don't eat ratatouille unless it's next to gammon. I know that's really random, but it's really, really nice. It's a bit like having tomato sauce, but a, a, a nicer version of tomato sauce. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing that now. I think it's spitting quite a lot. I'm going to have to turn it. So I will see you in a minute.
everyone i've had my tea now i've come upstairs and i'm gonna have a nice long bath because my muscles are aching so much from carrying everything this is probably going to carry over to a part three because as you can see we have not finished um we haven't got doors on there and they're not organized but um yeah i'm quite surprised we got the second one up because we were just going to do one weren't we today and so i'm quite happy that we've at least got the structure up and we can organize it now and then probably tomorrow night or Tuesday night, Mark will put the doors on. So after I've organized everything, which is gonna be in a job in itself, a serious job in itself. And then I'm gonna leave the kids for now. And then this weekend or towards the end of the week, do theirs. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this um, vlog today. And I will see you again for part three probably. But I'll see you tomorrow, which could just be me laying around in backache again who knows but i will see you again tomorrow anyway thank you very much for watching this vlog and bye bye